Too many state-owned companies continue to operate while not performing their intended purpose. That's according to Commerce Minister Donville Innes, who has identified this as an inefficiency in the public sector. We have continued to maintain too many state-owned entities whose relevance are nowhere what it was originally conceptualized, whose costs are unjustified, and whose activities are duplicated elsewhere, and whose management are mediocre at best in some instances. A future Barbados cannot sustain a public sector as defined in its broadest context, both in terms of size and efficiencies. My personal opinion is that we must strive for greater efficiency and reduce size over time as we expand our private sector. Minister Ennis made the comments during a conference hosted by the Institute of Chartered Accountants in Barbados on public financial management reform. He has also identified a shortcoming in the country's performance review systems, which he believes need to be taken more seriously. Despite all of the training, we still seem to have a culture of fear, of honest assessment of staff at all levels. We still too much want to reward incompetence and inefficiency by giving glowing reports on each other out of a fair reprisal. We must all focus on an assessment system that is designed to be continuous and that help weak individuals become stronger. Related to this is the growing need for a fit-for-purpose human resource management system. There are just too many persons placed in position purely because of academic qualifications. Well, more than 800,000 cruise, cruise tourists visited Barbados last year, and with the number rising annually, there is concern that not enough is being done to increase their spend. One of the ways being suggested to remedy this is for more Bridgetown stores to open for business on Sundays when cruise ships arrive. The chairman of the Barbados Tourism Marketing Incorporated, Alvin Jamet, believes it's ultimately up to the private sector players to make this happen. I think what we can clearly agree upon is that there are more cruise ship passengers now coming to Barbados. And uh, when they come to Barbados, they need to have something to do. We can talk all around the idea of tourism spend, but we have to create the environment in which they can spend, and that environment has to be there all the time. Well, for a long time now, we've been having these discussions with the public and private sector. And I, I think really and truly at the end of the day, the private sector has to take the lead in terms of creating this environment. Chairman of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Eddie Abed, said what's needed is a plan to get more cruise passengers into Bridgetown. He suggests their starting point after arrival should be Pelican Craft Center. While they're in Pelican Village, we can sell them local craft, local art, we can sell them additional tours, we can mention how we're a heritage site and there's more things they can do in the garrison area. And equally, we return the tourists either into Hero Square or some other convenient location in Bridgetown at the end of the tour where they can spend an hour or two going through Bridgetown, not only to purchase goods, but also to enjoy some of the local culture. So, you know, we'd like to see more of local restaurants. Perhaps there's uh, a tours, walking tours. We have the synagogue. We have the cathedral. We have several interesting points. We have Parliament Museum where we can sell them more things to do in the city while they're here. But we need to get them into the city. Well, let's take a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, with Cinco Group Limited Ordinary Shares was the volume leader, with 15,104,462 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited was the volume leader, with 40,455 shares changing hands, all for value of $1,139,000. And here in Barbados, Goddard Enterprises Limited was the volume leader, trading 5,336 shares at $11.40 each.